and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. I'm going to be starting a brand new series and in this series I'm going to be comparing infinite painter brushes to traditional art tools. In this video we're going to look at the pencils, pastels, and charcoals. So I'm using Infinite Painter for Android, but these brushes are also available in the iOS version. And I'm going to start by setting the paper texture. And you can go ahead and use the default textures that are there, or you can import your own textures from the gallery or the camera, or even go online and search for a texture. And then you've got the little slider controls where you can control the depth of the texture, the opacity, and also the scale. And you can also add a color to the background if you want to. The first category that we're going to be looking at is the sketch category. And this category has all the pencils and the charcoal tools. And as you can see, the first tools that you look at, the, the Castell and the Blackwell pencils, and they're all sort of a, they look like an art pencil, kind of. And they just go from dark to light. And then as you go further down into the category, they start to get grainier, and they begin to look more like charcoal and pastel pencils. They get a little bit more of a grainy look to them. And especially when you go to the vine part there, that's a vine charcoal look and it looks very much like that. And the, the last brush here, it looks very much like a charcoal. And you can go in to each brush and change the settings on it if you want to, the size and opacity. And you can also change the texture to your brush. So it will be specific to your brush and not necessarily the background. And then you can change the flow and the spacing on your brush and the rotation of the brush head. And that gives certain effects too. And you can just sort of play around with these and see what, what kind of effects you get. And it will also depend on the textures that you have. And then there's a little function in Infinite Painter that you can change any tool into a watercolor brush. And that kind of gives everything sort of a, a glazed look and it's really uh, quite handy. You can make all kinds of different effects with this. And so you can go ahead and play around with that and just see what each brush does. You can change the jitter on the brush and this just makes it look more random and the angle as well. And this just kind of gives it a more natural look and a more random look. And you just keep playing with the texture scale. You can change the texture again. You can use these little graphs to change your size and flow as well. And then you can turn the, any brush into a glaze brush as well. And then here we have the blending tools and you can change the dilution, the mix-in rate, the smudginess of it, the strength of the blending, and the opacity. And this just um, shows how you can blend in your different colors and you just kind of have to play around with that and just see what you want to do there. And then here on the Halden brush, I'm just showing how you can totally reset everything. So if you get it all messed up and you don't like any of that, just hit the reset button and it'll go back to all your defaults. And then the pencils are mostly in the first of the sketch category. The Castell, the Blackwell is like a darker version of a pencil. And then the Thoreau is a really dark pencil. It's like the art pencils, the, the really dark leaded ones. And then kind of the Escher is sort of like a real grainy light pencil. And also the Gilbert is kind of like just a regular pencil, I would say. And then the charcoals and the pastel 
tools are more grainy and these are the Julian tool and the Kurt tool. This one's kind of a dark pastel look. The hunter brush or tool, it looks like a block pastel. Also the Edgar one looks like a, a stick pastel. And of course the vine looks an awful lot like vine charcoal. And then you can go ahead and, and do the last one, the Halden one. It's it looks kind of like a really faint charcoal and you can use it to add really fine uh, details at the end kind of like a glaze sort of just go over the top of it it's really light and then here are the traditional kinds of tools for charcoal you can get them in pencils and sticks and you can also get a cloth and use it to smudge your pencil sharpener erasers and then for the pastels you can get those in pencils you can get them in stick form you can have blenders and a cloth and of course there's the art pencils that are graphite pencils and they have different grades that are hard and soft and so you can just kind of use all these tools from infinite painter and make a, a quick sketch and this is what you would do if you wanted to make just a, a quick pencil sketch, this just use the Blackwell pencil and the Castell. Just some of those will give you kind of a a nice pencil sketch look if that's what you're going for. And you can just go ahead and, and pick those from that category, the Escher tool and you can make thin lines here and just kind of use those for quick sketches before you do your main painting or you can actually do a full-blown graphite piece if you want to and make it make it look like graphite because it really does have the the pressure makes it look like you're drawing hard and you're drawing light and it really does give it a a graphite look so you can really get that in infinite painter just using the those sketch tools and the castell brush is really close to a pencil and and so is the the blackwell tool and here i'm just kind of making a quick sketch of a, a landscape with some um daggers spanish daggers in it and and a background and and then I went ahead and just saved this as the pencil drawing. And then next I want to show you what you can do when you use the pastel variants. And so these are the Julian and the Kurt brush and the Hunter brush and all these. And I call them brushes. They're tools, they're brushes, you know, just whatever you want to call them. Uh, brush is simple if you just call everything a brush. But really they'd be like a pencil or... An art tool is what they are. So here I'm just using some of the thicker ones like the Kurt tool and the Julian tool and they give a real grainy look and that's kind of what you want. And then if you want to blend it, the Hunter brush is really nice and gives it sort of a, a blending stomp look or a pastel shaper look. And you just go ahead and, and hit your blend tool in the sidebar there and then you can pick the hunter brush and it will blend with that brush. And then here I'm using the vine charcoal a little bit and it makes a, a nice look for pastel. It makes it look like it's a, a really soft pastel. And then use the hunter tool to blend it out and leave some of the graininess there though that that's what's going to make it look like a pastel if, with uh, infinite painters to just leave some of the graininess showing so don't blend it completely out and then here i'm just kind of playing around with the settings a little on the brushes and you can go ahead and uh, add, change the strength of the brush on the smudging and then I went back to the Julian brush here because it gives a real good grainy look. And you can change the texture in mid-painting. And then 
from then on out it will have that texture on it and that just made it look a lot more grainy and a lot more pastel like and then just throw in different colors here and you can work on the blending as to how much it will blend and how much it will just overlay you can do several different layers and just kind of you know just leave it with a really rough texture look here because we want to we want it to look like a, a traditional pastel so I'm throwing in all kinds of different colors here and, and you really can work pretty much like you do with uh, traditional pastels and then here I'm using one of the pencils and usually the black well gives kind of a grainy look and this will give a pastel pencil look to your drawing and you can smudge it out just a little bit with the hunter tool again and just kind of but leave leave some of it grainy looking so that it it looks like a pastel and you can just kind of smooth it and and it really does look like you're using a blending stomp or even just a rag when you use that brush to blend and then you can use again the blackwell pencil or one of the smaller variants the castell just to kind of get the smaller details you can get a more detailed look and make grass and twiggy bushes with it and branches and things like that and just make sure that you go ahead and make sure that the size is small on, on these brushes and then if you want to add say some bushes in the distance you can go back to some of the bigger brushes like the Kurt or the Julian and just kind of make a more grainy look and a grainy texture here I'm just adding some purple bushes there in the middle this is just kind of a real fast sketch mainly just to show you what you can do with all these different brushes and I'm adding in a little bit of green there making it look real jagged and non-uniform and you can go back and forth between the big brushes and the small brushes and add different colors and kind of go in and smudge them down and together and as you can see it's really beginning to look like a pastel painting and <clears throat> you can go ahead and throw in a little bit of twiggy bushes in the back there and again you'd use your blackwell brush probably to do that and or the castell just a smaller one but it still gives you a grainy look and so it would work better than the pens because you want to keep a grainy pastel look here's a quick sketch that I did using the castell and the blackwell pencils and as you can see you can get a nice sketchy look and a colored pencil look here's another example of using the charcoal pencils and you can get a really good background that looks like you've smudged the charcoal with it and then in this picture I use just the regular pastel pencil look here and you can use the Kurt and Julian brushes for it and then here I did a quick sketch of some flowers and it gives a nice grainy textured look against a dark background so as you can see you can get some really neat effects just using these pencils and tools in the sketch category this is the end of part one on my series on comparing infinite painter brushes to traditional art tools and in the next video we're going to have a look at all the ink tools so thanks everybody for watching thank you so much for your support if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later